We got a little bit of a, some Mount Whitney drama here. I went face to face with a bear that snatched John's backpack. We got Mike, he's bringing a knife to a bear fight. John's got a pot and pan and a stabbing stick. There's the bear. John's got something he wants to say to you. We are on to another adventure. First Carolyn! This is what we're going to be living in for the next two weeks. Here is Yellowstone National Park. Alright, we're going to go up the river. We just got done checking out Iceland's most photographed mountain. River crossing. If we get stuck out there, Dina's not going to let me hear the end of it. We just saw the freaking northern lights. The tallest peak in the contiguous U.S. It's incredible, but also quite sad. This glacier is receding each and every day. We're in the middle of the freaking ocean. 1,500 feet. We did it! 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 Alright, we just made it to the Whitney portal. Parked the camper. Our hike is that way. But first, we gotta go fill up our waters. Very important, hydration. What's going through your mind? I'm just uh, getting laser focused <laughs> at the opportunity that awaits. You ready for this? I'm ready, yeah. Three, four years ago, tried it. it didn't go so well. I think it's gonna go better this time. <laughs> I crushed it once, I'll crush it again. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. We're, we're always down for crushing a 14er. Hopefully this time, John does it too. Woo! Dina's in the kitchen. We have a little bit of turkey meat spaghetti sauce. Carb load, baby. All right, we're enjoying some of Dina's pasta, Summit pasta. Oh. And we're hanging out by the creek. Carb Not loading, and then we go up. <laughs> so right now we are packing our bags for tomorrow. And I'm doing a little weight check because we're going to divvy out the stove and gas. This one's coming in at 1.5. We got a little bit of a, some Mount Whitney drama here. I went face to face with a bear that snatched John's backpack. The backpack was right here and the bear was like right there. I picked my head up, shined my, my headlamp up on the hill and saw the eyes staring directly at me. He's probably just chilling with my bag right now. Yeah, we need to try to get it back. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is, he's by the bins. Hey, bear! Let's go get that pack. We managed to track it. Mikey found like a random item that was in my pack. There was a stove, there was like my reservoir for my camelback, and then there was this log crossing the river that's where everything was leading. We even found something on that log. It was literally like right where we're standing, which kind of puts me on edge. Oh, here it is. It looks like it's in one piece, kind of. He's got some goo. He, he, his energy levels are good. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get this thing and get out of here. <laughs> this bear messed with the wrong camp. <laughs> Let's take a better look at this thing. <laughs> look, oh at, look at the pocket. Look at he didn't even open the zipper. Look at that. He, he didn't even open the zipper. zipper. Bear one, pack zero. Where's your medicine? It's up here. Nice. Oh yes. Oh yes. my god. Oh. All right, so uh, not a, not a total loss. Here. And we got the stove back. Yep. Oh. Through hell or high water, I think we can still make this happen. <laughs> it's 2.30. Yep. No sleep for you? I couldn't sleep. I slept like a rock. We got Mike and John here. We gotta get some breakfast going, we're on the trail. Alright, it's 4 o'clock, we are starting the trail. Take me to the top. John's got his bear pack, his good luck bear pack. Alright. 
We're at the three mile mark, walking across the logs. The tree gap, bro. Trail update. It's 10 minutes to six. You can see the moon right there peeking up. The sun's coming up over there. Fifteen hundred feet of elevation gain. How you feeling, Mike? Pretty good. Oh, and perfect timing. We're now entering the Whitney zone. Permits ready. The Alpen Glow is just going off right now. Six twenty, and we. Can't help but stop and take a picture of this. Why? Just I know it's gorgeous, and I can't do it justice in a picture, but I want to remember it. It's amazing. now eight o'clock in the morning. We've been going for four hours. We made it all the way up here. The sun has come up 6.3 miles. We've gained 3,000 feet. I think we're all feeling the elevation, yeah? yeah. But we're still, we're still rocking it. Definitely battling some demons. But I will overcome. I will get to the top. I, I will. will. And I, when I get to the top, I'll say, I'm at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Salutations from trail camp, where we spent the past 40-ish minutes resting, eating some breakfast slash brunch. We'll call it brunch. <laughs> Filling up our water. And now That's we're gonna go, go to the top over there. And then we'll go up over the little jaggies. The first business. Yeah. yeah. Yours awesome. They're just awesome. What's up, buddy? Yep. We're approaching what was a major, what is a major mental for me. Because um, we're about three years removed from when I hit this point last time at about 12,000 feet. And it hit me like a ton of bricks with the altitude sickness. Camped here overnight still. Puking my guts out for about six hours straight. Tried to summit the next day. Had to turn around on the switchbacks. My sight was like, I'm pretty sure it was up where that orange tent is up there. And I remember it being like way hotter. And I took my shirt off and my friend who I was hiking with, I, cause I couldn't leave the tent. He took it and dunked it in the the ice cold lake and brought it back and I just draping it over my head. How are you feeling now? Feeling good now, feeling pretty good. I, that <laughs> I have extra motivation because that bear decided to mess with me, so now I'm angry. Fueled by anger. <laughs> you ready for this? We're starting what is known as the 99 switchbacks, where we go from around 12,000 feet to 13,000 feet. And I call it 99 switchbacks because you basically do 99 of these before you get to the top. It's super fun. Thirteen thousand one sixty-nine, Johnny. This is the highest you've ever been. Woo! How's it feel? Feels really good. Feels really good. These switchbacks haven't been as bad as I thought they were gonna be. You crossed that twelve thousand mark. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I turned around last time after like four switchbacks and I think we've done about like 83. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting pretty high up there. Yeah, we're almost there. How you doing, V? I feel awesome. Cool. Wow, that's <laughs> informative. In the morning when we showed you that Alpenglow footage from when the mountains were all red, that is what we're seeing now below us. I was definitely battling some demons down there and I'm feeling a heck of a lot better. Good. You gotta look good for the for, for Whitney. <laughs> Check out that view. To the ridge line. The ridge line's hell. Now a real challenge to do. <laughs> we got 1.9 to go. Woo. The hardest 1.9. Yeah. I'm smiling now. I'm not gonna be in five <laughs> seconds. We're at like 13.6. <laughs> ready i've See? had like my 10th goo and like <laughs> 400 milligrams caffeine so i feel like i'm about ready to run through a granite wall um so yeah hopefully that works out for me i think we got it roughly 1.5 miles left Wow. So we're uh, probably about 600 feet from the top of the summit. Our last challenge is the snow patch, the August snow patch. All right, everyone. This is the final steps to the summit. We're at 14,306. We've been walking for nine hours. <laughs> We've gained 5,753 feet. Excited to be up there. Not excited for the walk down, but excited to get to the top. I'm feeling awesome and lightheaded, and uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> John Schultz, the man on a mission. Will he let a beer, bear slow him down? Hell no! <laughs> All right, we're closing in on 14,500. Yeah! 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 yeah. There's the famous cabin. I don't know why I always get so emotional. <laughs> there were a couple times today that I didn't love this hike. Then we push through. Now we're about to freaking summit the tallest peak in the contiguous US. Woo! We did it. Yeah. What's going through your head now? Are you a believer, John? Oh, I'm a believer, man. Conquered this beast. Well, yeah. A couple That's things threatened to set us back. <laughs> including Such bear. as a black bear that came face to face with the cameraman here, Robbie Beeson. Stole my backpack, ripped all my energy goos out. But uh, yeah, we were unscathed and undeterred. There's a sign, 14,505. Give it a touch. Make it count. He made it. Whew. That felt good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? You just can't put it into words. <laughs> you can't. Be up here with your favorite people with these awesome views and 
the wilderness and battling demons and struggling and really pushing yourself, it's it's the best. Do I'm just right speechless. The right the, the, the. <laughs> We did it! Woo! starting to feel the effects of being in high altitude. Kind of feel a little hungover right now and what better what better cure for a hangover than a little summer ski session. This last two miles at elevation has really been hard on everyone. John started experiencing some altitude sickness. Dina too. I'm definitely feeling the altitude as well. So is Mike, so. Relief is in sight. We just have to go to that ridge right over there and we start, start dropping elevation and That two miles is the hardest two miles I've ever hardest done. Ever. Would you agree with that, John? Hands down. That was just pure survival. <sighs> Nothing else. Yeah, good job, Johnny. Woo. All right, the sun's dipping below Mount Whitney. We just crushed some food. Dina had some food. Coming back online, sweetie. I'm ready to get the rest of this hike done. So the thing about altitude sickness that I learned today is it can hit you at any time. I was pretty good up top until we left and then I felt like dying <laughs> <laughs> for about two miles of like the most difficult part of the hike. What brought you back to life? Oh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> Magic Mike's mashed potatoes. <laughs> All right, so we've been hiking for almost 16 hours and we finally made it back to this sign that we hit on the way up. John's still standing, so that's a good sign. Ooh, Mike's got... Burke chocolate? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Gina, how's your leg feeling, baby girl? I'm still gonna need a nice massage for my husband later. One o'clock in the morning. We have done 24 miles. We did it! Oh, Molly. Take it to the end, baby. Oh Take gosh. it to the finish line. Let's go, John. Let's get it. Get it, Johnny. Take us to the finish. I've never been so happy to see the sign in my life. <laughs> Woo! Good job. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. All around. Yeah. Like they say, it's not getting to the summit, it's getting back to the car. Uh -huh. And it didn't look pretty at times, <laughs> but you know what? We made it back to the effing car. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. What better way to celebrate an epic adventure like today? Woo. Cheers, buddy. 